It's a me! Oh, a pipe! I think I'll go down it. Oh, too much a pizza! A little help, please! That's another gold coin! This episode of Scientific Tuesday is brought to you by Audible. Well, it would seem to me that our red-headed plumber friend jumped into his last pipe ever. Of course, with a little help from our friend, sodium chlorate. This week, we're gonna show you all kinds of things you can do with this, and they all involve sugar. And maybe some table salt, and maybe some metal scrappings as well. Oh yeah, and that favorite candy of yours from Under the Rainbow. Let's start with the most basic level, the gummy bear sacrifice. You've probably seen it before, and a big shout out to all of those who've done it in the past, as it pushed us to take this to new heights. After we melt down sodium chlorate, it decomposes. This creates a ton of oxygen. In fact, enough to ignite all the sugar inside any candy we drop in. Now when we drop this candy in, it creates fuel, oxygen, and heat. Bam, the perfect ingredients for fire. The higher the sugar content, the better the effect. But let's try this out again with a little bit more sugar. So first thing we did was take some copper scraps and some table salt. After that, we went ahead and added about eight grams of sodium chlorate. The concoction that we created here should put on quite a show. Now, sodium chlorate has a melting point of 250 Celsius or 482 Fahrenheit, but let's do something I've never seen before. We'll add two candies from under the rainbow. Now keep in mind, the chemicals you see here are not readily available. However, molten sodium chlorate is an amazing oxidizer and it can react with many common materials, sugar just being one of them. It was almost as if we had created our own miniature sun. Obviously, this is due to the fact that we added a higher content of sucrose and sodium chlorate into the mixture. All right, we're in a lab. We've got the tools, the chemicals, and all the safety gear. We just added 25 grams of sodium chlorate. Keep in mind, most of these demonstrations use about five grams. Oh wow, looks like the plumber's brother found his way out of the mansion. He even brought along some of his best friends from his prior adventures. Hey, your brother, we are coming in after you. like we just created a new game, Super Mario Burners, and I don't think there's going to be a sequel. Oh no, brother, friends, I'm more powerful than ever, I can shoot the fireballs, oh well, now I'm the only star. Look, I had a crazy good time making this video. In fact, it may have been one of my favorites ever. Now, most of you aren't going to have these chemicals laying around, so it was made for your viewing pleasure. Now, I wanna give a big shout out and a thank you to audible.com. Just like sugar exploding, Audible is blowing up on the audiobook scene. They've got over 75,000 titles to download. You can play them back on the iPod or your MP3 player any time. Sure, sometimes I like to read a good book, but you know what? A lot of the time, I love to pop in a pair of headphones and let someone else read it for me. If you haven't experienced audiobooks yet, go to audiblepodcast.com slash Tuesdays and download a free audiobook for yourself if you sign up today. I be on the go, on the road, doing shows, getting flows, getting dough, and I love that life. But at times when the grind, the flying, and the rhymes make me blind, I think about you on them cold nights.